Hello out there, this is Doug Kelly coming from Bill Platt, Louisiana. And this is gonna be my first video, cooking video. And uh, on a, a nasty rainy day out in Southwest Louisiana, decided to cook some beef short ribs. So bear with me, we're gonna try to give it our best shot and uh, hopefully it turns out good. Stand by. All right, we're back. I'm cooking these short ribs now. I've got the short ribs uh, browned, set them off to the side. Now we'll put a little bit of onions in there. Got to let them uh, cook down a little bit. And uh, here in a minute, we're going to throw in these, a uh, little bit of garlic. I don't want to put the garlic in too early because it'll scorch them and they'll be, they'll be nasty, nasty. So, uh, stand all right, now we're back. I have put the uh, garlic in the onions and uh, they have cooked down a little bit. I'm not really worried about cooking them down all the way because uh, I'm gonna cook them low and slow for uh, several hours. So it don't need to be all the way down. So uh, what I need to do now is uh, I'm gonna put some beef stock in here. And uh, I think them, them guys on the internet call it uh, deglaze the pot. Uh, and Cajun country, we call that uh, getting those green knees off the bottom of the pot. Whatever that means. I'm a transplant, so I don't talk all that Cajun stuff, but I'll pick it up a little bit. Cause it's nothing but flavor. So now all I'm gonna do is uh, add the ribs back to the Dutch oven and uh, Throw it in the oven. I'll show you what it looks like here in a little bit. All right, we're back. We have just put all the uh, ribs and everything back in the Dutch oven. But to uh, put it in the oven, we're going to cook it 325 for several hours, slow and slow. This is what it's looking like right now before we put it in. Got a little bit. I got a little bit too much that uh, I can make a single layer in my pot, but that ain't nothing. It's all going. It's all gonna cook down, it's gonna be good, good. Stand by. They're outside, standing on the chairs. And that's it. Should be uh, done in a couple hours, we'll check it out. And uh, give y'all an update when it's done. All right, first time I'm gonna check it. It's been a cooking for about an hour. Already looks damn good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be on point. All right, I'm gonna put it back in the oven. We're gonna let it cook for uh, for a while longer. Probably two hours more. It's gonna be tender. Cut it with a knife. All right, then. All right, folks, we have turned off the meat. We pulled the pot out, and this is the finished product. Halfway halfway through, halfway through, we added some potatoes, and we cooked it for about three and a half hours. Everything smells delicious. I have my, uh, I have my official taste tester with me, Miss Kimber. Hi. Today I'm going to be the taste tester. So we're going to see how it turned out. We got, a, we got a second taste tester. All right, there you go. Thumbs up, okay. That's a good sign. I got a second taste tester. Say hello. Hello. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that was, uh, turned out to be very good. We cooked some baked beans with it and uh, we're gonna Sit down and enjoy a meal. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.